previously on the Fisayo Explores Kenya. When you want to see Africa, you come to Kenya, you see everything in Africa. And it's authentic. Yes, that is me, the Fisayo, having an interview with the Cabinet Secretary of Tourism and Wildlife, otherwise known as the Minister of Tourism in Kenya. Your girl has blown. So, enjoy this video and go watch the previous episode if you haven't. Lastly, please do subscribe. Hi all liars, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories from within the sessions I visit, inviting you to my world of travel and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africa can position itself to be number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. We are currently on our way to the UN office in Nairobi, Kenya. Hello! <laughs> And that is Carla, also known as Karina, from the Philippines and the US. I know, so happy to have met this girl. I know. <laughs> and that is, okay, Hello. introduce. <laughs> My name is Frank, Frank Cran. Right. Nice to meet you from Cote d'Ivoire, in Spain. And Spain, and uh, what else? Uh, you go to my LinkedIn and you find some stuff. So today, being the second to last day, I'm going to be in Kenya. We're taking a little tour around the United Nations before we explore that part of Kenya or Nairobi specifically. All right, so where's Nigerian flag? Because I want to take a picture in front of Nigerian flag. Somewhere here, we're going to find it. So guys, I'm looking for Nigerian flag so that I can take it. Oh, I see it's not flying. It's not Nigerian flag, it's not flying. I'll show you my flag. Where is it? Which one? This. What color? The, the red, and then the red, and the blue, and the okay. Green. That's Philippines, yes. <laughs> that <thing. laughs> so, that real flag is not flying, every flag is flying. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Exactly, there are 195 flags, <laughs> but they only have 193 members of the United ah. Nations. So there are two additional flags of the observer states of the UN. They were just at the very end, and the observer states are states that can participate in the debates, in the meetings, but they don't have a right to vote. And those two states are uh, the Holy See, Vatican, and Palestine. Yeah. And the other uh, flags are, as some of you already mentioned, they are arranged in English alphabetical order. So if you didn't find your flag now, you can just go through the flags and try to find it with that hint. It's like Taiwan, for example, it's not, uh, it's not recognized by very many states, so it's not a member of the United Nations, but uh, almost the whole world is a member of the UN. So we're still having our UN tour, just to give you a good of that. member states when the UN were formed in yeah. 1945. Right now, as I mentioned, we have 193 member states. We are almost quadruple the size of uh, 75 years ago, 74 years ago. Why is that? Well, I think you all recognize you, you've got to be in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's no good to stay outside. Yes, that's true. You have to be in it. Get more 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 independent states. <laughs> more states become independent. Yeah, yeah, that's one big reason. And the biggest growth in the UN was actually in the 1960s when most Africa. of the African states became independent. And exactly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the second reason, well, all of what you said is true. Uh, the countries, uh, they knew you have to be a member, you have to be on the table. Um, but also, Germany was not a member at the beginning, Italy was not a member, Japan was not a member. All the nations that lost the Second World War, they joined later on, they were not members in the beginning. So now we have really covered almost the whole world that gives us a huge opportunity to stay in touch, to have conversation around the world about all global issues that go beyond borders. So that could be environment, because environment like climate change does not stop at borders. That could be international crime, that could be war, peace, medical, medical aid, yes, everything, even medical standards. Standard setting in general, food, everything. Everything <coughs> that crosses borders is a topic of Ooh, here we have the UN office. We're dignitaries from all over the world. 
sit and make important decisions. People like myself, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so let's go take a picture on the <laughs> on the high table, shall we? Oh, this is really huge. It's Nigeria, so we're okay, okay. So this is by names or by country? By country. They will set the name of the country oh, up here. Okay. Uh, alphabet yeah, How do you alphabet. determine alphabet. this? Okay, she just said alphabet. English, alphabetical order as well. But okay, I'll explain to everyone. Okay, okay. Uh, she worked also for the environment, but before she worked for the environment, she was one of the pioneer activists for environmental matters. Like she, she always said, we cannot cut down trees to put buildings up. Like she always, um, uh, what is it called? Advocated for more tree planting. And she had a, a organization called Green Green Belt Movement, and they do planting trees. So. She's, um, she was also recognized uh, as one of the, she won a Nobel yes. for her efforts. So she's one of our key Kenyan global champions for environmental matters. But unfortunately she passed away as well age. But before she became a global champion, she was beaten and bullied and arrested. That was, yes. And majority of the time she was getting bullied. Other than, there was one time they campaigned, the Zuhuru Park, a park next to the city. And unfortunately, politicians wanted up, uh, to put up buildings, and they went in there as women and championed like no, no buildings can be put up. This is a park. This is for resting for people to rest, and they got beaten definitely. And so she was politically always moved towards environmental campaigns. They are kindly asked to do it. Mm. Why? Because we are the global headquarters of the environment here in Nairobi mm -hmm. and we want to remind everybody, every head of state who is visiting of his responsibility for the environment. Mm. So have a quick look around if you see a, uh, a tree of somebody you might know, somebody from your country. So where do we plant our trees? Huh? Where do we plant our trees? Have you As got I an said, area for us? Unfortunately not, not. allowed. Huh? I'm also okay. not allowed. So uh, we have a quick look, uh, just a minute and then we meet again over here. Oh, Samuel. Let me take this for Samuel. Ethiopia. <laughs> this is where Kofi Annan. Hmm? Kofi Annan. Kofi. Kofi Annan. Can you know? You said Kofi. Where? Kofi Annan. That big tree over here. Nigeria, you've not come to plant tree. What happened? There is none planted by Nigeria here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mangari Matai. Mangari? Matai. Where is Mangari Matai? What country? Where is Mangari Matai? That's what I'm looking for. Because uh, This tree was planted by the electricity. <laughs> yeah, so we have lost everyone. Where is everyone? You don't know? Anyways, we're in the UN Environment Office, which is powered solely by solar. And this is what it looks like. So we're still here at the UN office <laughs> in Nairobi, Nairobi, Kenya. And it's so beautiful in here. I'm talking of the environment. As a, anyways, in the United Nations Environment Office. Anyways, so what would you expect? I like it. It's beautiful. I like the fact that I'm also here. And the fact that I get to share it with you guys. Let me know what you think, okay? So we are done with the UN tour. It's just great. What do you think, Pamela? I think it's amazing. It's a nice place. Yeah. It's the biggest I've seen. You have been to others? I've uh, been to the one of Uganda. Yeah. It's not this big. This is the biggest okay. in, in East Africa, like she yeah. mentioned. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice facility. Yeah. And I hope they do even much more for us. 
because we need a lot of it in environment, tourism, exactly. conservation, yeah. and all those so, related subjects. When you say us, are you referring to just East Africa? East Africa, 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 in, uh, Africa at large. We, yeah. we need to work together as Africa. If yeah. we don't work together, that means we won't achieve yeah. the tourism goals. The sustainable by, development yes, goals. Exactly. Yeah. By 2030, is it? 2030? Yeah, 2030. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God. What, which one did you, what was this um, SDG goal you picked? Uh, the one I picked was about food. food. Yeah, number two, right? No, yes. no poverty, no two. food. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It was about food. Because to me, if you don't have food, if you have not eaten, you can't do anything. You can't do any work. So we need strong people to work on. So what are you doing in that areas? area? What are you doing? Because the idea is for you to pick one and work towards it. What oh, are you doing? Mine was on climate change. Okay. Yes. At least every birth, every time it's my birthday, I plant a tree. Nice. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so mine, I, I chose the uh, decent economic growth. So this basically means for employment for more people. When you have, when you're able to take care of yourself, you can able, you'll be able to fend for your basic needs, which is food, clothing, and shelter. So how do you achieve that? It's true, the <laughs> development of eco of the economy. So that's one of the things that we are working on with the company that we are building, which is Trav CP and DPCIO.com. And even as media, that's what we all do. We're yeah, exactly. To yeah. Yeah. yeah true. Anyways, it was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the. That was the of the, the tour the, 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 in the comment yeah. section below. Is this your first time in the UN office? Yes, it is. How was it? It was good. It was very good. Your expectation yeah. met reality or estimate? Oh, it did, it did. Yeah. It was very informative as well. Um, I'm assuming this is not your first time. <laughs> not my first time. I've I mean, been here over and over again. Hundreds time? Sorry? This is your what time? Uh, third time. Okay. Yes. Which, uh, which has been your best experience so far? Um, given that I was late, so I just enjoyed part of the interview, part of, part of the tour that is. What do you look forward to doing or contributing? Like, for, for example, when we entered, I was, you know they mentioned that we cannot plant trees, you have to be appointed to plant trees and everything. Uh -huh. So me, I'm looking forward to being. <laughs> so you, I'm sure you would have aspirations. What are you looking forward to? You know? uh, I'm looking forward to discussing more about the goals that I've set up. Right. At least I pick on the quality education. Yeah. Because okay. that is one thing that um, really yeah. uh, able to transform the world. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Till next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and subscribe. <laughs> stay awesome. Stay inspired. Peace. <laughs> all up, all up, all up. Don't go anywhere yet. This is what you'll be getting this week on the Visaya Express Kenya. How to travel to Kenya from Nigeria. My 10 days guide. Make sure you stay tuned. See you this week.